This video is on one-step equations, adding and subtracting. In order to do these, you need to know about inverse operations. Those are pairs of operations that undo each other. Specifically for this uh, video, we're talking about addition and subtraction. Addition undoes subtraction or a negative, and subtraction undoes a addition or a positive. Remember the objective for these is to get the variable by itself. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have x plus 3 equals negative 7, and I've already laid out uh, some counters and a post-it to represent x as the variable. I need to get this post-it by itself, so I need to get rid of these counters. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use zero pairs. So I'm going to include the negative zero pairs on not only the left-hand side, but also the right-hand side. So I added three negative to the left, and I need to add three negative to the right. Okay. Since these are zero pairs, I can take them out. And what is left is two, four, six, eight, ten. Since they're all red, it's going to be a negative 10. We could also do this numerically. I have to subtract 3 from both sides. That's our inverse operation. 3 minus 3 is 0, so I'm just simply left with x on the left-hand side. Negative 7 minus 3 is going to be negative 10. Let's take a second look at an example, this time with subtraction. Now notice the variable is on the right-hand side of the equation this time. It doesn't matter if the variable is on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. We still treat it in the same way. Again, I have this set up where the post-it will represent y, the variable. I have negative 4 here. Now you may be seeing this as subtract 4. I could rewrite this as plus a negative 4 and it represents the same thing. So don't get confused with putting four positives down and then putting a subtraction sign in. I saw many students doing this and that is a recipe for making a mistake. So make sure you recognize this as a negative four. So there are negative four counters here and a negative 10 counters on our left hand side of the e equation. Just like the previous example, I wanna put in a positive set of counters for each negative on the side with my variable. So I put in plus four on my right-hand side, and I'm also going to do that on the left-hand side, plus four. Okay. So the right-hand side, I have zero pairs. These are all matched up. I can take these off the board. I'm simply left with y here, my variable. And, but uh, unlike last time, this time I actually have some zero pairs here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take the zero pairs off the board. For every one set of, or one yellow, I'll take off one red. Okay. And then what is left is going to be the solution. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Numerically, I could do it this way. I'm going to add a negative 4. Actually, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Okay. Negative 4 plus 4 would be 0. So I'll be left with y on the right-hand side. Go ahead and erase that. And then on the left-hand side, negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Again, represented by the counters.